Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. Today, we're at Unionville Gold Station, our last stop in our Stouffville Line Station Upgrade series. And this is where the future all-day two-way frequent service will end on the line. Unionville, like the other stations in this section of the line, is getting a second platform and track, as well as other quality of life improvements that we'll see in a bit. Come along for the ride! Before we get into the station though, let's take a look at the progress of the second track construction along the way. As you can see here, this stretch from Millican Station to Unionville Station already have most of the track, as well as switches put in. And although we didn't get it on camera, we actually passed by another train, which was presumably there for testing of the second track. Although it's not fully complete yet, the progress is really good to see. Here we are, finally arriving at the station. Since Unimil will be the last station in the all-day two-way frequent portion of the line, it will require some extra features and upgrades. First of all, we will be getting a new island platform, as well as a relocated east platform, with a snowbelt system for those snowy Canadian winters. And besides the aforementioned second track, we will also get a new turnaround track so that trains can turn around and travel in the other direction. Other features the station is getting include new pedestrian tunnels and elevators, canopies and integrated shelters on the platforms, designated pedestrian paths through the parking lot for added safety, new parking spaces, easier access from the parking lot to the platforms, a bike storage room, as well as improved signage, lighting, and landscaping. With all these changes in place, the station will definitely look a less bland than it does right now. Let's now take a look at the actual progress of these upgrades. You can see that there hasn't been much done in terms of actually building up the platforms, but the ground has been thoroughly leveled, and in some places it has also been ducked up a bit more in order to put in foundation and whatnot. Compared to some of the other stations that we've visited, Unionville definitely isn't the furthest along in terms of upgrades and construction, but the big cranes do excite us a lot in terms of the construction moving along faster. The other part of the station that has been worked on is the new additional parking spots coming into the parking lot. There will be about 300 more parking spaces coming into the station, and they will be located in the southeast corner of the parking lot, towards the far end. You can see that the areas where the parking spaces will be going into have already been blocked off, and ready for further construction. This big lot here is the furthest along in the process, with the ground already covered in gravel and ready for the next step. Just be careful not to park on this road here if you do use the station, as trucks will be moving through here to get to the construction sites. Besides these two points, there hasn't been that much work done here at the station, but we are very hopeful and excited for what's to come. Alright, that concludes our little tour of Unionville Station, and our little series updating you guys on the progress of construction here on the Stouffville Go Line. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and series. Like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have any ideas in mind for future videos. We really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching guys, and we will see you in the next one.